Hello. Today we're headed to the sawmill and we're going to cut some spalted maple. That'll be a fun one. And then I'm going to get another project off my crafting bucket list. <laughs> Sorry, the mosquitoes are eating me alive. It's a wooden charcuterie board. Let's go. Spalted maple. Spalted maple, to get spalt, it's when the log first starts to rot. So you have to, the log has to lay in moisture on the ground for four to five years, give or take. Timing is important. You don't want to get too far where the log goes punky and the wood is not usable. You want to get to the certain point where it's just nicely spalted and you have some nice, you have some nice spalted black grooves and spalting throughout the board. Today, I'm participating in Try It Tuesday. It's a challenge by Sammy at Unicorn Dust Designs and her co-host is Whitney at Wit and Whiskey. The challenge is to take an inspiration and give it a go. I'm going to try Thomas O'Brien's charcuterie boards. Whoop. Thomas mentioned that his design was like a duck's head. Well, that just triggered aha, an aha moment. Hey, I'm gonna make a goose head charcuterie board. Let's go. Thanks, Thomas. Thanks, ladies. And check out the playlist. I was watching a video and they kind of said this was like a duck head. And I'm like, yeah, I love that. So I'm gonna do a duck head. It's going this way. It's probably good. Okay. I've never used this machine. So, let's try. I don't know where my glasses are. Okay. To turn it on. I don't know, I got nothing. No, it's right here. It's a new bandsaw. I haven't used one in about, oh, 20 years. The last 20 years I was in the corporate world and now I've come back to my woodworking. So it's a new bandsaw. It doesn't have as much wiggle room as my old one, which I used to love. So I have a lot of ah fud moments where I have fear, uncertainty, and doubt. But I'm going to work through it. Let's go. Okay. I've got some tight turns here, which I'm finding the faster I go, the more play I have with the blade so I can make those tighter turns. I could use a jigsaw. I'm going to try this on my scroll saw. I probably need a bigger blade, but the worst that can happen is the blade will break. It might be noisy, but I'm going to be nowhere near the path of the blade. It's all good. What could happen? I'm going to get my pencil. I've been kind of freestyling it, but I need this line better. Spalted maple. You have to dry it properly. 
you have to sticker it and put a cover over it. It has to stay dry, but the air needs to circulate around it. So you put three slats, you lay three boards, you put three slats, and then you lay your next level of three boards. That way, the air can circulate around it. Then, you, it's still not down to the moisture content that you want. I usually like about 9%. So then, it goes into the kiln. Yay. So, I've got this cut out. I started with a bandsaw. You can cut it with a bandsaw, jigsaw, or scroll saw. It was pretty hard wood to go through this scroll saw, and you need a bigger blade. Um, but I'm thinking the jigsaw would have been the best move. I'm just getting a router with a roundover bit in it. And I'm just going to do a bit of a round over. sanding the board. I'm going to use 80 grit sandpaper. Then I'm going to switch to maybe 200 grit. Going to get it really, really nice and smooth. Then I'm going to raise the grain. You need to, you need to raise the wood grain because if you don't, when that board gets wet, it's going to feel really rough. So you spray it, spritz it with water, raise the wood grain, let it dry, and then you sand it with usually about 200, maybe 500 grit sandpaper. Okay, I'm just gonna use my dragon's breath and it's an easy way to wood burn. It's food grade safe. And I probably wouldn't be eating off this anyway, but it is food grade safe. Like up here, I wouldn't be eating off the handle. Um, so I'm just going to paint this all with um, Dragon's Breath and I'm going to leave this spot here open and white. Now you need to heat activate it. I'm using an 1800 watt heat gun, but I found there was no difference if you use a thousand watt. You could also use an oven or a toaster oven. I'm using shellac, food grade safe. Really getting it on there, gonna make a nice thick coat. Especially on the end grain, it really, really sinks into the end grain. I really wanna make sure I really coat that end grain. Oh my gosh, look at how it pops when you get that shellac on it. Eh? Wow, wow. And this part, the dragon's breath, is also food grade safe. So if you get some meat or cheese up here, that's okay. That is okay. okay I'm just gonna feather it out now. Let it dry for 45 minutes and then do a second coat.
Hey, do me a solid. Watch my next video. Love you, bye.